everybody, it's Friday Morning Reviews. I'm Louis Ingram. I'm Nathan C.K. And we're here to talk about my most anticipated movie of the year, the Lego Batman movie. I have a Lego Batman keychain. I have Batman <laughs> comics. I have eight Batman movies. I have posters all over my wall. I, this is my favorite character of all time. And this movie is like, it's the perfect movie for Batman fans. It's a wonderful movie for Batman. And it's exactly what you want it to be. Exactly, isn't it? It's so fun. Even thinking back on the movie, I just watched last night, even thinking back on it, I'm like, well, I didn't really, well, that part wasn't great. Yeah. But then, wait, boy, this was great. That was great. I can't believe that was in the movie. I can't believe this was in the movie. It's like there's so many Easter eggs. Yeah. And... Just fun things on the screen. If you're a Batman fan, you have been for a long time. You see all the references to cartoons, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. comics. Oh, yeah. They recreate yep. something. Mm-hmm. It's just the noise, the sound cues that you hear. The opening of the film, it's the, the music is very reminiscent of the Dark Knight Rides. And just you're hearing all these things. And it's such... I don't, I'm tired of saying it's a love letter to whatever. It's a <laughs> love letter to Batman. And it's making fun of him at the same time. <laughs> in such a loving way. Like, they understand this character so well. Like, they actually look into who Batman is and why. They get under the cowl. Yeah. A lot, and yeah. into the heart. And mm-hmm. that's what surprised me most about this movie. Yeah. Uh, they're, so, basically, what they're, what they're searching for is this... Why there's so much darkness in Batman's life. And we find out a little bit that it's it's mostly because he he doesn't want to start a like a new family almost because he's missing You're his right. parents. So there's You're that right. like struggle for Batman to get to get out of his comfort zone and and start something new and find new friends and make a family with them. Um, well, anything new is scary, and that's completely yeah. I mean, that's true, especially yeah. for him. Yeah, and I love Dark Batman. Like that's you're my favorite, right? <laughs> I also really like Funny Batman and Goofy Batman. Yes, Funny Batman. <laughs> but with, with like just you know dark and serious and gritty and brooding Batman is. If you just lock into that, you're not letting yourself see all these other sides to him. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what this movie explores. Like Batman. Crazy, but he sings in this movie and it works. <laughs> he's a parent. He's you know, just, he's so many things. And when you just see Batman as that one broody vigilante crime hero, you're, you're blocking off the rest. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm glad that we got to see the other side. Cause that's the side I hadn't really seen before. Yeah. And that that's what that's what makes it kind of click a little bit. A lot of this movie, I'm gonna say it's. The themes are repetitive throughout the movie. Not saying it's boring, but it's really shoving it down your throat type of, uh, just like repetitiveness. And it, and it shows you that Batman um, is, is really liking this dark side of him and he doesn't want to change. And that's consistent throughout the whole movie. He doesn't want to change. And then finally, at the end, you kind of can guess what happens. Um... But so, um, as far as like his mood, um, I I wouldn't have called it repetitive. Like I didn't feel that way just because there were so many jokes. That, right. My way. Right. Um, so I never felt what you felt. Just you know why? It's because I. Um, it's like we were talking about before the review. I just got so many more of the right the visual jokes. Right. Right. Maybe my mind was off that. That was being overloaded with all of these different, like, oh, they we created that comic book cover. And, oh my god, look at that! The Condiment King. That's um, a real villain. I remember him. <laughs> and that's something the movie does really well. It includes so much. Yeah, it definitely. Of the, the Batman characters, just all these crazy villains you've never. And it's not a bad thing. Never heard of. It's not no, a bad it's thing. So it's good. Funny. It's amazing. It is. Um, and I and I love why they did that. I don't think you're gonna see a a greater Batman fight between so many villains again. 
Ever. You're right. Ever. I'm saying that right now. I don't care. <laughs> um, it was so Oh, my God. Arnett's got you beat. <laughs> what? I said, you hear that, Affleck? Arnett has you beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> there's so much lore in this movie. Oh, that, I mean, it's just so... It just made me... It made me so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Just be sitting mm-hmm. there seeing all this. I wish certain characters were integrated more. Yes and no, but yeah. it was a Batman movie. They did the appropriate thing. Right. Like, it makes sense for those characters who have gotten involved. But because right. it's a Batman thing, that's why. Because once you add those other characters, then it's not really just a Batman movie anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel that too. Um, my, I do have a problem with the movie. This movie is so funny. The jokes are so kinetic that they literally never stop. Like, it never gives you a breather. Like, when you think you're going to get this room to just, uh, you know, after that joke feeling, you can't. <laughs> it'll, it'll just keep on going. It's a train that never stops. And, like, my head hurt a bit. I was laughing and smiling so much. I've never felt that kind of love like that. It's like, yes, thank you. <laughs> Because I'm such a nerd, but that is, I think if they, you know, dialed back on the jokes just a bit, I would have, uh, I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah. But the jokes right. are funny. Right. That's the thing. It's not like, oh, this joke doesn't land, or that joke doesn't land. These jokes are, we're all landing for me personally. Mm-hmm. So it's like, imagine laughing straight for an hour and a half. <laughs> you turn to the joker, you go crazy, your head's hurt. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, it, it, it's immensely funny, um, and everything that, that happens, happens for a little bit of a reason, um, there's definitely a reason behind things, um, and then at the end it ties it all together, and, and it's what you want for Batman, in this movie at least, and it's a great, it's a great ending, it's a satisfied ending, I don't have a problem with it, I love it, um, it, it reminded me a little bit in tone of the ending of The Dark Knight Rises, and I don't know if we're going to do spoilers, I could specify later on. Right. But it reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, the opening of the movie is fantastic. Like, for the first 25 minutes of the movie, <laughs> this is my favorite movie ever. Yes! And it's just, I was, yeah. Because it, it's just the rest of it that made me go, oh man, <laughs> these jokes are not <laughs> The first, like, minute when it's introing like Warner Brothers and DC, that is even hilarious. that, how that is hilarious. <laughs> uh, oh my! God. It starts from the beginning. You start laughing from, from the, the beginning. From the opening, from the first second of the movie before the movie even starts. You're right. The opening logo is so incredible. <laughs> even that's and incredible. I gotta tell you, the first fifteen minutes of the movie also. I'm like, why haven't they made this into Batman? <laughs> That's a great plot. Oh, man. I've seen all of this, seen all these villains, the action that works for me. Yep. I, you wouldn't think in a Lego movie, in a cartoon Lego movie, the action is good. It, the action is really good. It's amazing. Yeah. Are what they can do. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, what they can do is you're absolutely right. That's Just amazing. Some of the stuff in the end of the battle, you know, flying around with that one. <laughs> that was. You know what they did. You can't. I can't believe what they that these characters were included in the movie. <laughs> oh goodness! Um, it's just it's such a great film. Uh, let's talk about the acting. Michael uh, Sarah is Robin. Michael, Michael Sarah is Robin. Robin. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and he, and he's, he's integrated so well, isn't he? It's not like he's yeah. pushed aside. It's not like any of these characters are really thrown in there for no reason. There's definitely a dynamic um, to how they're how they're getting interacted into to Batman's life. Wink, wink. Um, yeah. And and I love that. And I think that the acting works fine. Um, there are serious moments, and it gets funny again. <laughs> um, You're right. You know, it pauses really briefly. You think like, oh my god. Uh Uh-huh. 
for a little brief like, moment, and and it's kind of what you need a little bit. Um, but besides the whole like the funniness aspect and all the jokes and stuff, it's a good movie, um, and it works for everyone. Little kids were in the theater as well as people who are like in their sixties. A couple of in their sixties was sitting behind me, a couple of rows back, and they were laughing. They loved it. Um, Dude, you're right because this movie works, and it's safe for little kids. Yeah, too. like you could take it is. your mm-hmm. small child to this movie. Yeah, definitely. And um, you don't have to worry about bad things like because it's, it's Legos, you know. Right, right. Like uh, Michael Sarah's Robin, it was definitely like there's making him like the Robin from the 60s. Yeah. That kind of goofy Robin. And, <laughs> you know, it, I, I've seen people have a problem with that because that's not how Robin is in the comedy. Yeah, right. this is a comedy. Right, um, right. So it makes great, sense. He was great, great fine. He was great. Will Arnett was great. I could have used a little more crazy than Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. Younger. Yeah. A little I, bit I more crazy. Mm-hmm. It did work. And I loved, it did, and I loved what they did with um, the Joker and Batman. Yeah. I love the, their relationship in this movie. <laughs> it, I thought it was out of nowhere and hilarious. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and rate this it bad boy. Great, every, everything worked for me. Yeah, same too. Same too. So let's see. Out of everything that, that we said out of this movie, it's so, it's so great. It's so funny. Um, definitely the Batman movie I kind of wanted. So much action. It's just so great. And all the characters who are tied into this movie, um, they they all kind of love Batman. And you know, you just have you just have to love it. You just have to love it. And I'm gonna give it a four point seven out of five. This movie's hilarious, it's heartfelt. Everything from the musical cues, the visual cues, callback. Everything works in this movie. Chris McKay did a great job. I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time. It did not disappoint me at all. I'd give it a four out of five. Okay. I loved it. Awesome. And Please like, like, comment, and subscribe. Correct. And uh, and yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Later.